Good day and thanks for joining me in this special edition of uh, the news. We're receiving the Minister for Communication, Isa Chiruma Bakari, who is storing media houses in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. Mr. Minister, good day. My pleasure. The pleasure is us receiving you. I'm very much delighted to be here, to be welcomed, warmly welcomed by you. It is a privilege and uh, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you visiting uh, media houses within the context of the Anglophone uh, crisis, what has been termed today as the Anglophone uh, crisis. Minister for Communication, member of government, is there an Anglophone problem today? No. There is no Anglophone problem in this nation. Please. You have a handful of people who have decided to blackmail, to take hostage the two regions and consequently the ten regions in our nation. There is no Anglophone problem as a such. Each region has its own problem. There is no doubt about it. When the lawyers, the teachers, raised the problems that they were confronted with and for which solution have not been found. They were received. They were welcomed. The head of state gave the instruction to all of those who in one way or other were in charge of the area to receive them, listen, focus the mind on the problem raised by them and to find the right solution. And the problem uh, raised by lawyers and teacher yes. unionists. Mm -hmm. Most of those problems have a found solution. But we were ex expecting the end of the problems when the secessionists came up with their claim, their demand. They were nothing short than independence. But maybe secessionists took the advantage that in the month of January, you, alongside other government ministers, stood up and said there was no Anglophone problem. Uh, this angered uh, most persons who watch you. Uh, today, can we say that the continuous, the continuous process of the strike action in schools, they are not yet effective? It is because of what you said in the month of January. Can you be blamed today for what is ongoing? <laughs> no, not at all. I, I said a while ago that uh, in January, when in my office I presided over a press conference attended by ministers, in my mind I thought that infrastructural problems were at stake. We say that the problem of road, building hospital, school, so forth and so on, are common problem all over the nation. But before January, you, you, you had, you had bar lawyers who had can you, stood up to talk about the translation of the Ohada law in the month of November. Can you allow me to continue, please? And in the month of November, teachers had sent a communique one month, even before November 21. You are aware of that? We have to be very much disciplined in this dialogue. We are all disciplined. When you raise an issue, you allow me, in my capacity as the member of the government and spokesperson, you have to give me the opportunity to answer your question. I'm just recalling, Mr. Minister. I say that uh, at the beginning, I was wrong in my assessment of this situation. When the problem of translation in both languages, any document coming from any ad administration, and this being not the case, I say, yes, they are right. It's if prob Anglophone problem should be identified by those problems. There is no doubt. There is no problem. E there is problem, and those problems have to be addressed, and they have to be settled. And this is what the government is doing. But today, the strike continues, which no. means the uh, efforts put by the government are not enough? No, 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 no. No. You are uh, analyzing, assessing the situation through a misleading prism, angle. No, we have been on the ground, Mr. Minister. Let me, Schools let have me, not been effective. I'm let, talking let, based let, well, on okay. statistics. We've had on the ground. Let me continue. I said that you are wrong in your assessment of this situation. Let me, let me tell you the reason why. When the government, in compliance with the agreement, 
signed by the government and the representative of lawyer and teachers. When it was implemented, when those who were caught red-handed, put in jail, being court martial all of those in one way or other, when the head of state deemed it necessary to get them released, 55 of them were released, the situation died down. The school had resumed. Not effective. Please, uh, the, re the school has resumed. Economic activity has resumed. Day-to-day -day life of Cameroonian in those areas have resumed. But the secession, when they realize that their aura, their charisma was dying down, dwindling, when their mode pass could no longer be heard and implemented by others, they resorted to violence. That reason why you are a parent. On the 22nd of September, almost the whole of Northwest and Southwest regions who came out as secessionists. No, no, because, not because, at all. Because, because most of them not were not at released Manchu BBC. Not at all. The, 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 the perception of not the, the, the order from the head of state Pobia to release everybody <laughs> was not well taken and communicated by those in Not charge. at all. Please, refrain from amalgamation. The Anglophone are victims of this situation. You have a handful of people settle abroad who are dictating what is taking place on the threat on the threat because people have been taken hostages without threat this situation uh, would have uh, disappeared completely out of our radar uh, we are convinced they are threatening they they call MPs this is you cannot deny this they call MPs, member of the parliament. If you don't resign, we are going to kill you or uh, kill member of your you family. You have proof that they call them? Yes. 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 Most of them, at least one or two, they say that, well, one day, huge gathering, who huge crowd, stayed there to the house, found them with their family, and said that, if you don't resign, you are going to face you are going to face the consequences and they were obliged to resign to resign so on that threat it is possible to get what you want but freely it is impossible now what happened with the other detainees anglophone detainees who are still in jail the head of state through the secretary general the president of the republic signed a release calling for uh, the total release of everybody mm -hmm. what happened can you explain to mm -hmm. to Cameroonians and the families mm -hmm. who are watching you now there was a criteria according to which whoever do not have or does not have blood in the hand those who were, uh, were uh, uh, those who have blood in their hands caught red-handed violation burning killing destroying we didn't see that in the community. profaning i am a member of the government i'm, I'm giving you the explanation so it should have been clearly take, written take, out. Take this communique. Days. Take this communique. Take it. Read it. You are you are reading is uh, is libelous. Is biased. Is biased. No, come come You are not right. right. No, 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 no. Please. This, this debate is very much serious. It's a serious debate, Mr. Yes, Minister. We are talking so about it's the life because, of people. because people want their, their their detained brothers and sisters to 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 be out. You see. You have some of them who are being tried. They are being court martialed. The separation of power between executive and legislative, executive, executive and judiciary, executive and judiciary. This separation does not allow the head of state to interfere when matters are already enrolled when matters are being prosecuted, when matters are being court martialed When it is ended, the head of state is vested with power to amnesty. No matter what your crime, the head of state is empowered by our constitution to free, to liberate, no matter how tough no matter how bad 
now the, the crime you have committed yes. the head of state has the power mm. to liberate you yes if he de if he deems it necessary to do it now all of those who today are in jail for sure because they are being prosecuted they are being court martialed wait until it is over and we are going to see what the head of state is going to do I'm not uh, authorized to tell you this is what is taking place. I'm here to enlighten you. I'm here to let you know that our brothers and sisters in the two regions are the victim. They are victims. They became the scapegoat uh, uh, by the, the secessionists. The, ten, the eight other regions in the nation are in solidarity, give full and unshakable and unwavering support to our brothers and sisters of the two regions. Let us never amalgamate. What the secessionist wants is to say that, no, Anglophone, this is not Anglophone problem. This is, today we have a problem with secessionists, handful of people, and they are going to be defeated. The, the, the United Nations Secretary General, through the spokesman, signed a release uh, calling on the government and the two communities to look into the root cause of, uh, of, of this problem. To you today, what do you consider as the root cause of this problem? Are we going back to 1961? The problem, you see, the head of state and all of us here as a citizen, we are repository of a legacy handed over to us by the founding father of this nation. We have to be very vigilant very mindful not to profane the legacy handed over to us by the founding father. In the process, as we are moving forward, in case there is a problem, no problem, it is possible always to look at it, what is wrong, how to handle, how to address it. So to do, can still look at the form of the state? The form of After the a state. failure of the decentralization process since uh, the 1996? Yes. No. Don't, please, don't ask the nation to jump into the unknown without a security net. The Cameroonian, they know what they want, where they are going to, despite the fact that it is far from being perfect. I agree with you. What the government is doing is far from being perfect. But we say that day in, day out, those problems are going to be settled. They are going to find the right solution. I have no doubt whatsoever, but I keep always saying the same thing, avoid amalgamation. The second aspect I would like to mention, all of us here, we are custodian of our common willingness to live together. Please, please, be the custodian, be the guardian of our common willingness to live together, the protection of our common, uh, of our the physical integrity of our nation. Okay, as communication minister, are you aware that uh, Barrister Akaremuna uh, wrote to the United Nations talking of a genocide in the making? Uh, he cited some journalists at uh, Vision Cat who have been using hate speeches uh, to talk of how they should arrest Anglophones. Are you aware of the situation? It is wrong. <laughs> it is wrong. On behalf of the government, I strongly condemn Whoever speak in such a way, whoever, it is wrong. This is whoever, whoever. If ever it has taken place, we have to condemn it. We have to denounce it. We have to reject it. You agree with me? Same message is circulating in the Internet. You have to, to drive out of our region all francophone. All francophones should be uh, taken away. We must reject it. I can see it in the internet. And the message is the one of the secessionists. We have to condemn and we have to blame them for that. And if a Cameroonian speak in such a way, he is condemnable. We reject it in the, in the government. We denounce it. It has to be made clear. Okay. Any special message before we go? Mm to the public, the Anglophones who are watching you, with tomorrow, will they make hay while the sun shines? We are a great nation. We are a marvelous nation. We are a marvelous people. The protection of this nation is our, of our paramount importance. Our willingness to live together, to move together, 
to build this nation is sacred. We have to protect it. On behalf of the government, I say that all of us, we are Anglophone today. Because Anglophone, they are the first victim of this situation. Burning school, killing people, profaning, uh, profaning uh, uh, our symbols, uh, burning flag, it is wrong. We must never ever accept it. We have to condemn it. We have to fight it. But we must remain united. Cameroon is one of the privileged nations on earth for having the two official languages, French and English. We have to protect and promote it. As far as our brothers and sisters Anglophone are concerned, I would like to mention what I have already noticed which is taking place. The next generation, the, the generation of my kids, for sure my grandkids, they will be more English speaking people than French English speaking people. Tomorrow they will be no longer a language or culture problem. So please, please um, don't allow irresponsible people to call for cessation, to threat. It is wrong. As a journalist, you have the responsibility. You, are, you have to protect this nation. This is our resp responsibility. The reason why I came here, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. And whenever need be, I am always ready to come and discuss with you. Um, this crisis is moving, moving to an end because the government uh, uh, has already taken all measures. Secession will never take place. And you agree with me? Violence should stop. I agree. And you agree with me? And dialogue must continue. Dialogue must be the only framework, the only possibility that all problems, no matter how complex and tough they are, the only possibility to address them is through dialogue. And the military too should stop shooting. The military, those, a military has never shot in any. How can you say this? Many people have uh, have been reported dead. We have confirmed. Uh, well, on, the, on September 22 in the northwest, in Kumbo and in Murphy. Yeah, before we before we leave, Mr. Minister. Uh, please, 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 please. The situation is already very complex. Don't put oil the fire in order to to increase the complexity of this problem Understand. to deal with it it is not easy but if you stand in this way you will you will make it more complex than it is today we are great and big nation let us remind remain united today tomorrow and forever and ever thank you very much mr minister Merci beaucoup, mon cher. it was a pleasure being with you equally in this special program where we received the minister for communication isa chiruma bakari who has been making a tour in media houses in Cameroon's economic capital Tuala. thanks for watching good day <laughs>